like we have a doppelganger here, ladies and gentlemen. Lacey Noel, <laughs> also. Oh, wait. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. And we're conjoined at the boot, too. The boot. The boots. We share one, one leg. Just one leg that is weird, because I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... With this episode, what were your overall feelings about it? I loved it. It was one of my favorite episodes of the season so far, so it was really exciting. Mm -hmm. I, I feel that some of them haven't been as exciting, but this one, so much happened. They yeah. brought in all seven queens, Yeah. which has never happened before. And Rue announced in the last episode that um, there would be a queen coming back, but like, who would have known that I, all of them, yeah. yeah, they reunited as all 14 queens. Absolutely insane. And also, um, I think that, especially with Trixie coming in first, that was so... In so yeah, expected. you thought it would just be Trixie. And then Tempest came in and was like, okay, well, she wasn't given enough time, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> the rest of them come in and it's just like, what? What? And then it was super amazing seeing them all work together. I like the fact yeah. that um, instead of having a bunch of um, burly straight men from the army or something. Yeah, or couples. Twin, couples that are getting married like last season. Oh, yeah. It's super cool to see like the other queens return and then have them pair up. And it also shows a great deal of teamwork and everything and I just, I love that. Yeah. Um it's hard to work with another queen too. It, yeah. And especially because I'm sure there's like a lot of different um opinions. Of opinions, different ideas, aesthetics and yeah. yeah. It was cool to see like how the queen would transform the queen into basically themselves, mm -hmm. and so it was a completely different queen. Uh -huh. So you had Trixie with a completely different look, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah, and then um, Candy Ho got on that list. <laughs> Her beard was gone. And Miss, like, <laughs> if I like was Candy Ho, I would be getting down on my knees and just like Thinking. praying. <laughs> One of the lords of makeup. Like, yeah. I would be, like, so ecstatic to, to have, have fame. touch Do your, your... Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she looked gorgeous. Yeah. And also, like, she looks like fame, too. I couldn't tell them apart for, yeah. like, a... For, for a minute, you were, like, you were confused. <laughs> yeah. And also, and then also with um, Ginger and Sasha, I think they did really well together, too. The makeup was really cute. Yeah. And I loved when Ross Matthews said that... It, it was a John Waters quality uh -huh. that he brought, and it was so true. Mm -hmm. John Waters always had things that he would make mm -hmm. out of nothing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It and was then, yeah. oh, Jasmine and Jasmine and Kennedy. Kennedy, yeah. Gorgeous. I love the look. I think that their look was pretty good, and I think that they worked together too. I, like, yeah, I like, love the way that they worked together and everything was the same, and they walked the same, and they had the same gestures and the same facial expressions. And are they both pageant queens? Yeah, or? Okay. I think so. And I think that makes sense too, with how they kind of act alike and stuff. Um, and then we had Tempest and Kennedy. Tempest and Kennedy, the odd or, or couple. Or Kennedy, or Jaden, or, sorry. Yeah, Jaden, sorry. <laughs> Cause like, and they felt that uh, who was it? Who was it that decided on the teams? Um, Kennedy. Kennedy decided yeah. on the teams. That's what I was thinking, and then I said, "Huh, well." And they felt that Kennedy was like doing that on purpose, but I didn't feel that way. I felt like everyone. It, I mean, that was just the last. Yeah, the last option. two. But yeah, because I think that Violet and Max did re very well together. They're very. They're both corseted. They both have similar styles. Mm -hmm. um, Violet's very kind of like vintage going into like yeah, bondage have that. and then Max is more of a old starlet mm -hmm. and so um, fame and candy don't really have too much of the same like yeah. things but like I could definitely see like especially now candy being transformed into fame mm -hmm. and also fame is so good with makeup that she can literally transform people into herself yeah, anybody yeah <laughs> and then um, Pearl and Trixie Amazing. Together. So funny. So amazing. And also, I love 
their outfit, mm -hmm. their concept of what they did on the runway was perfect. The headgear, amazing. And like the fact that Pearl was the pretty one and then Trixie was the ugly one who was annoying and everything. Perfect. And, up, and I think that the setting was like at a prom or something, wasn't yeah. it? Oh, I love that. It's so cute. And then, um... I loved Katya and... <gasps> yeah, uh, Katya, Katya and, and Kasha Davis. Kasha Davis, yes. Mm -hmm. I loved... It's so funny. It's so funny, hilarious, and also... And they made themselves look old, like they were mm -hmm. two old ladies at a casino. Yeah. And also, it really... Or um, a bingo hall. It really, like, works for both of them. Yeah. Because I think that they kind of took their differences and their similarities and brought or, them together. And brought, yeah, mm hmm. Because I think that, um, like, Katya is willing to do anything pretty much. Mm -hmm. And so, like, Mrs. Tasha Davis is kind of like, an, like a soccer mom ish type deal. Yeah. So, like, they kind of morphed into something that was really creative and extremely funny. Yeah, and it was cool to see how the first time they worked together they didn't do as well as they did this time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and also I think that there's a... I think that sometimes when you get a break from those certain queens or something, just things just turn out to be better. Yeah. You know? And also, um, the first thing that I noticed about the queens when they all came the back... Distance makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> Is that the same? Is it the same? Yeah. Something mm. like that. <laughs> like when so they were separated and then they were brought back together. When it they better. when <laughs> they came back into the workroom, the first thing I noticed about the queens that came back was that they looked so well rested and relaxed. Yeah. And then everyone else was just like, <gasps> <gasps> yeah. They were um, going through it. Oh, poor Ginger. She was going through it. Oh this yeah. Episode. Like I understand the frustration that um, Miss Fame and. Uh, Ginger Minch had about some, you know, the mm -hmm. people coming back, and yeah. I mean, it's understandable, but like, I mean, that's a great challenge to put on people, and it also, I think that these queens can learn a lot from it, too. Who is your favorite look? Uh, it was probably a tie between Kasha Davis and Katya and the Trixie and Pearl look. Yeah. I, I couldn't decide. They were both just so funny and yeah. so out there. They are really, really cool. It was a tie for me. What about you? I think the hands down the Pearl and Trixie one was yeah. really cute. Because it was very nicely done. Yeah, it was beautiful. And it was... I heard that Trixie put nail glue on her teeth to put the braces on. Oh my god, speaking of teeth, um, the jail challenge. The, the oh, mini challenge. Uh, oh, I forgot about the challenge. Oh, yeah. It's so funny. Uh, who was, um, Katya made her teeth Oh, my yellow. God. That was the best. I think she should have won. Yes, I agree. She totally should have won that She, she, she totally was that totally one. out there, so creative. Uh-huh. And she almost looked like a, she kind of the reminded me of Tank face. Girl a little bit. Yeah. And, like, she just out of the blue, insane! I love it. Yeah. I love it so much. Smuggling geese out of the Soviet Union. Oh my god! <laughs> that was hilarious. And who won that one? That was Kennedy. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. And let's see. yeah, Katya should have won that one. I liked Miss Fame. Miss Fame's makeup was really cute. Mm -hmm. Um. Very chola. Yeah, I think I think that Katya Hansen was the best in that one, and then she did very well on the runway, and then. The princess, uh, by the Chachi. <laughs> that was hilarious. And then, I can't remember too many of the, um, the mini the challenge, because, too. like, there's so much that, like, happened elsewhere in the mm -hmm. episode that was just like, <gasps> yeah. what? Oh, Latrice Royale. Oh my god, that, I Oh know. my god, so funny, and so, like, a blast from the Get past. Get those nuts away from my face. <laughs> I love her. Yeah. It, was, it was so nice. It, that was a great reason. They should have just brought her back and no one else, and I think it would have been fun. <laughs> but also, like, this episode, I don't think that there was this many queens on any episode ever. Yeah. Because, like, you have, like, a return of a season four queen, and then you had the return of, like, all the, all queens, the queens before, and then, yeah. Um, and I'm really, like, are you glad about the person who stayed? Absolutely, yeah. 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 I think that she was I felt great. that the first time she went away it was unfair. I think she should have stayed. 
Yeah, and also I really like the fact that they brought her back because like with the, when they lift things against each other, it was just so hard to like think, oh, Pearl should have gone home, but like, no, yeah. and then maybe Trixie, Neither but no, and so like, <laughs> I, I really am fond of the return of Trixie, yeah. and also um, she has They are definitely in my top three. Yeah, she has such a great character, and it's would be such a waste to just send her yeah. home that early. Um, yeah, well, Jaden went home. Oh my god. Ah, she was so emotional. I know. It and was, I w It was kind of sad. I wish that she would have stayed, though, because, like, I would have really liked to hear more about her. Mm -hmm. And it was really crazy hearing in, um, I think the episode before the last one that she... The Force Match game. I think so, What yeah. was it? What happened? She didn't come out to her family yet. Oh. And speaking of that, speaking of that yeah. Tempest had her story with her straight therapy. Yeah, I can't which, even imagine having to go through something like that. It's horrible. And I can't imagine how people... Um, can do that to someone. Exactly, and I can't imagine how someone would feel going through that process. Yeah. It's just absolutely absurd. And also, um, I'm so glad they brought back Tempest so mm -hmm. she can share it So she can more. share that, yeah. We didn't get to... I still think that... I still would like her to be on RuPaul's Drag Race, mm -hmm. though, because she... I feel like she's full of stories. Yeah. Like, so full of interesting... Yeah, she definitely brings a lot to the show. And this was such an emotionally draining episode, because it was just like... I think that throughout the whole season, it was just kind of like... Um, I don't know, I was kind of like waiting for something big to happen, and yeah. then... Snatch Game was a bit of a bang, but this was like... Yeah. Whoa! Like, yeah. wow! Um, and I feel that there was definitely this time competition in this episode. Like, yeah. we definitely weren't sure which team was gonna win. Mm -hmm. You had a couple teams that did amazing. Yeah. And also, um, I love Fame's and Candy's looks. Mm -hmm. How it was like plastic surgery, how they were both together. Mm -hmm. The blood. Mm -hmm. The red. And what were you saying that you wish they would do? What did I say? Oh yes, no one was attached at the head. <laughs> Which a lot of conjoined twins are when at mm -hmm. birth or conjoined at the head. What was your favorite uh, conjoinment? The boobs was hilarious. The boobs was hilarious. The, the, the vagina. <laughs> the, that was too much. Oh yeah, like the, um, what was it? Jaden and Tempest. Oh yeah, the, like, the back and the front. front. Like, that was so weird. <laughs> really weird. It re reminds me of like a weird human society. Speaking of, the the lip sync for your life was epic. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was the best lip sync it, ever. It was one of my favorites of all time. Um, Absolutely. Ginger and Sasha were perfect yeah. together. Absolutely hilarious. Wigs were falling off. Conjoinments were being so cut funny. off. So funny. And they had their scissors hidden already. They that, were ready for that. I was impressed by that. Like, where did the scissors yeah. come from? Like, wow. Oh, speaking of scissors, um, Fame and uh, Candy Ho, they had a staple, like a staple gun, with them, and a, and a hammer. Was it a hammer that they had? Really? Yeah, they had props. Hmm. Oh, and she was like stapling her face. Oh, that's As cute. they walked down the runway. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. It would be funny too if they were conjoined at the head because Miss Faye and House her Yeah, House her head. They would have had two heads. <laughs> two heads are better than one. <laughs> um, and also with Miss Faye, she finally got the question. She finally got the answer. But I wish that she wouldn't have got it till like the very yeah. like till, yeah till the reunion. <laughs> yeah, that would have been hilarious. Because, um, I love how, like, sweet and innocent she is, Candy too. Candy Hill probably had to explain it to her. <laughs> Aw, probably. And I love that Miss Fame couldn't, um, shut up about how... Oh my god, she talks and talks and talks well, I and love paragraphs. That. <laughs> she's like, I don't know, like, she's very thoughtful. Yeah. She's very, like, kind, and I like the fact that she, um was expressing her feelings about how she can get to know Candy Ho better and yeah. blah, blah, blah blah and then Candy was just so over it. If you were to describe this episode in one word, 
what would it be? Exciting. Exciting? I would say, finally. <laughs> finally, yeah. Something's happening. Finally. Because I feel like, actually, you know what? After Snatch Game, that's where it really, like, mm -hmm. that's where the real business starts going on. And also, um... Who was your favorite Snatch Game, by the way? <sighs> Pearl's Big Ange. Pearl's Big Ange. Yeah. That was, that was just, that was yeah. the best. I wish Tracy really could have come back yeah. for that episode. Oh, because she's going to do anything. And Frank. Or that would have been really cool, really neat if they brought all the queens back for Snatch Game. Mm -hmm. So everyone so gets a chance. We had all 14. Because um, this is Kasha Davis who's going to do Liza Minnelli. <gasps> Oh. In one of the Liza Minnelli's <laughs> outfits. That's who I hope to do when I get on Drag Race, actually. Aw, that's so cool. In one of Liza Minnelli's outfits, like, she actually has yeah, an outfit. Yeah, something of hers, yeah. That's amazing. Like, that, like, I, ugh, I'm actually really disappointed that she didn't, like, yeah. stay because, like, oh my god, she has, like, an outfit of hers. I just let her do the Snatch Game thing and, ugh. Yeah. And then, um, who's your favorite Snatch Game? I loved Ginger Minj as Adele. It was so That was funny. really funny. I like how she made Adele, who was like not that um, big of a character. Yeah, into a, a character. big character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. And also, like, I've, um, I have experience as a stand-up comedian, and writing jokes is not easy mm -hmm. at all, especially for a character that you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Untucked, oh my god. That was so funny seeing the room being all crowded oh, again. Oh yeah, everyone yeah. was there. And then people were like just kind of falling apart from each other. Yeah. And just like lazing around. Oh my god, uh, was it Katya on the ground who was like stretching? Uh -huh. and, like, that's totally, I would totally do that. Yeah. <laughs> I have this big mystery about Katya. Like, what, how? How old is her legs? How do her legs do all those crazy things? Was she like some sort of I don't know. gymnast? Or? Um, maybe. Yeah, she does the splits and she does what else? Like, <laughs> all sorts of crazy She's things. She's very flexible. Very flexible. And when I met her in person at the premiere, she was on stage and she was kind of sitting on the stage and there's someone like behind her and so she turned around with her legs all the way up. Oh my goodness. And then she put her legs on either side of them, of the person, and like stroked their face or something. But I was just like, dude, how do your legs do that? Like, ugh. And also when I was cosplaying as her, it was so hard to pose as her because she just has so yeah. many. <laughs> yeah. Next episode, we see in the trailer that they're going to finally do the reading finally. challenge. Finally. Yeah. And I'm really excited for yeah, that. Yeah, me too. Really excited. And then, um, I saw a Christmas tree being thrown down at someone. That was Oh, yeah, there's awesome. gonna be, is it, I think it might be called Divine Inspiration, so we might get a little John Waters. Maybe Ginger will be really good at that. Yeah. Because she's, because she reminds me so much of, um, like, old school and new school Tracy Turner, but mm -hmm. thrown in together. Yeah. With a Absolutely. dash of the fact that she's a man thrown in. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like um, divine almost. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Hopefully she excels at that one. Mm -hmm. Well, she excels at everything. Well, I guess not in that. Ex yeah, in that except this it. <laughs> last one. I mean, it was funny. But I, the, I loved lip -sync, it. Lip sync, though. Oh my that god, the lip sync was amazing. epic. Her? So who's your top three? My top three. Oh. So far. Uh, mm, it's too hard, cause like, <laughs> I had a top six and then Max left. Yeah. And then my Have top, you done your Max costume? Did you do that one yet? I did the make, I did the face for it and then, um, we have yet to get the materials to perform the little cosplay thing. Mm -hmm. It's coming together. Cool. But yeah. I can't wait. Really this weekend was crazy though because I did, did Pearl you do, and Trixie, you did which two. was so funny because they were back to back or like side to side like yeah. together. That's funny, huh? <laughs> um, let's see. And then, oh yeah, my top six was Max, Violet, Fame, Katya, and Pearl, and did I see Trixie? No, I don't think. So that was my top six, and so it's now a top five. Mm -hmm. But like of those 
five. It's so hard to choose only three that I like. But um, I really love. I can't even pick yeah. top three. It's it's too hard. <laughs> like I mean, I love Miss Fam and her chickens. I love Violet and her fashion. Yeah, Violet's fashion is amazing. I love Katya and her just and like her comedy, her insane. sense of being Daddy. herself, just herself all the time. Yeah, and then I love Trixie and just like her makeup and everything, and then Fancy Pearl makeup. and I love Pearl's humor. Pum yeah, humor really. Pearl Pearl <laughs> has just like this really funny humor that's like very kind of like sarcastic, mm -hmm. and I just. I just love that too. Who is your top three? Did you say your whole top three? Or mm, only two? Probably Pearl. Pearl? <clears throat> is it hard? It is. Oh, uh, Pearl. Just... Trixie. Mm -hmm. Can I pick four? <laughs> yeah. Ginger Katya. Ginger and Katya. Those are my four. Also, I really like Ginger too. I like I like Ginger's humor because she can really like I love I love queens that are really funny. smart, mm -hmm. funny and smart at the same time. Yeah. And polished and pretty. <laughs> oh, and I finally got nails. Yeah, I we have matching, matching nails. nails as well as outfits and hair. And matching hair, matching dress, matching boots. I don't know if you can see them, but. <laughs> so yeah, I guess. Matching headbands. Oh yeah. Or the same I person. love doing this with my nails. <laughs> it's like so fun. I'm gonna give my teacher such a headache tomorrow. But um, this concludes our first episode. It was super, super fun to have Miss Lacey Noel over. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hummingbird Meadows over my home, and we will put all of your contact information, or whatever, for like your social media, networking, and websites, and whatnot, underneath my video in the description. I know that I described this. Thing much longer than I should have. <laughs> but, okay, <nice> fame. <laughs> but um, I want to get on her list. Yeah. But yeah. If you do her cosplay, you have to get her to do. I don't. Your <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do hers. Her makeup is just like so like. She has to do it for you. Uh, I think. Oh, that I would be know. a dream. Yeah. But I don't think. I don't know if that would ever happen. But I it'll mean, happen. Hey, I'm open for like. <laughs> Um, let's see. We'll call her. <laughs> <laughs> Two phones, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, so yes, we will put your contact information or social networking, whatever. Facebook, that, Instagram. That stuff underneath them. Coming from Meadows. And then, yeah. Well, it's been fun. It's been super fun. <laughs> It's been super crazy. Like, I feel like I'm yeah, I'm so into excited that we finally got to do this together. Yeah, and also like I'm seriously so honored that you dressed up like me. It's like such a like. <laughs> oh, I teared up a bit when I saw the photos oh. of you as me on stage. Well, the first time I met you, I think I came up to you and I, I was like, who are you? I want to know everything about you. I love your look. Oh yeah, we met like. Uh, I want to have the same look as you, oh. obviously. Aww. <laughs> well, that's disgusting. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, I'm a big fan, Lacey. That lady and her issues. That guy just, just up, just up. It was a James Bond number. Calm down, lady. <laughs> oh, you're, everyone looks like your husband. Your husband's not original at all. Sorry, but, <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll save my reading for the next episode. For the next episode. It was super lovely to have you. The library will be open next week. I like libraries. They're fun. Like, I like reading a lot. <laughs> like, not people, but books. Not people, but books. I don't like people. people I like are... reading. What's your favorite book? Oh, my God. Um, I like this, I don't know. I have too many. Like, I like Perks of Being a Wallflower. That one's pretty good. I like the Harry Potter series. The Hobbit was pretty cool. Um, Me and Angel by Sherry Curry was really neat. I don't know. I have a lot of books that I have on a list that I really want to read. Yeah. 
But yeah. <laughs> and also don't forget to follow all of her stuff and also subscribe to my channel as well I don't know why everyone points to this corner because there's literally nothing in this corner I mean the YouTube logo is on this corner <laughs> so this if you part? want to go back to the home page I guess you have to click that button but go down buy my picture or something and <laughs> click the subscribe button because I know you want to so Again, it was super lovely finally having you over. It was lovely to be over. <laughs> and my final word for this is Chapla. Chapla. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It's going on for success. Mm. Good luck. Do you have to do it this way? Well, I don't know. I guess it's this way. <laughs> I saw it in a video and it was cool. So I adopted it. Say it again. Chapla. <laughs> Chapla. <laughs> I'll get it. It's like this. Oh. Chapla. <laughs> Chapla. Okay, I think I got it. Maybe. We can do it, do it over again. <laughs> we can do it like Together. Um, un universally unison. Unison and unison. Okay, three, two, one, and Chapla. <laughs> <laughs>